Welcome back, everyone, to some more Honkai Star Rail. We're going to be uh, continuing on through the mines, and we need to find Oleg. But before we do anything, obviously, um, I've just logged on, and uh, you probably saw my party there. I have added Welt to the party because I do want to try him out. Um, I'm aware that there are character trials that I could do, but um, I'll probably... You see, I don't want to almost spoil what those characters are like before I actually get them. I know that's weird, because I'm missing out on nice. rewards, but I kind of... That's just the way I want to do it. Um, so if there's any character trials for characters that I've already seen, I probably will do those off-screen. Um, what did I do off-screen, actually? Oh, yeah, so we're level 30 now with Mage, because uh, we did Ascend, and we might even be able to Ascend again, actually. I'm not too sure. Dan's only level 20, and since I am using him quite a lot. Um, I know he's not the best character in the world, uh, but I like him, and uh, since we're so early in the game, I also really like his spear. It's pretty cool. So uh, I think we might level him up to 30. I've got quite a lot of materials, because I have been doing calyxes and things off screen, and I suppose we better check check my daily situation as well. Uh, but yeah, let's, let's get him leveled up to 30. There we go. Very nice. Um, and I could ascend light cones as well, which I probably should do. Tingyun's level 30. Welt, I've got up to level 20. Um, I won't get him to level 30 just yet, because I do want to see how he is, but a lot of people have been saying that I'm quite lucky to get him this early. Uh, I'm excited to try him out, and yeah, he's he's very, very dashing with his cane that he did boop us with. I am, I am looking forward to playing with Train Dad. Uh, Natasha's currently on the bench for now, but she probably will make her way back to the party. Uh, but I'm gonna- I'm gonna risk going without a healer. I suppose, actually, really, I don't need to use my main character, do I? But it just feels wrong not using him for story stuff, so... We'll, uh, we'll- we'll try this party out for now. Uh, traces, that's what I need to do. Traces... For Welt. Let's get... Synthetic Black Hole... Uh, deals imaginary damage equal to 90%, with a 100% base chance of enemies hit by this ability to be imprisoned for one turn. So yeah, the whole thing about Welt apparently is his, um, he will reduce enemies' turns. So we'll, we'll just kind of, yeah, we'll figure, we'll figure this out. <laughs> uh, Edge of the Void, that's his skill. Yeah, I'm just gonna get all of these. I'm not too worried about what they do right now, because I don't really know what he does right now. Time distortion. Uh, when hitting enemies that are already slowed, well, deals additional imaginary damage. So, yeah, this is the thing. And people have been saying he works really well with Dr. Ratio and Dan, because Dan slows enemies as well. So, I think, yeah, we'll, we'll definitely see how Welt and Dan do together uh, for now. And, ooh, I got an achievement. Yay. Right, so... I think that'll probably do. I've given everyone basically all the relics that I have. Uh, obviously, March has got that full set on her, but... Uh, right. Let's just quickly grab that achievement. Uh, do you guys mind seeing this stuff on screen? Like, I could just do all this off screen and then just start the video. Let me let me know if you want to see all this, all this stuff. Uh, right. That's... The, and I have been getting achievements off screen as well. I have been claiming those. Interastral Guide. So I've logged into the game. I have destroyed three destructible objects. Just diddly. Uh, diddly? I quickly did that off screen. I quickly did that off, <laughs> off screen. Uh, freaking talking like Ned Flanders. Uh, dispatch assignments. I think I've got some people on those, but they're not ready yet. Uh, we could do a Calyx, uh, a Calyx quickly. And that would, that would sort us out for today, wouldn't it? Yeah, we could quickly do that, I suppose. Uh, let's go do that right now, actually. Uh, still haven't really dived into the simulated universe yet, and I may do that today if we have chance. Because I want to I get cracking with that, because it does look really fun. Um, and yes, I have been using, again, energy to do these calyxes off screen. Maybe I'm not doing uh, enough for some people, but... Um, I'm, I'm just doing what I... You know, I'm not in any rush to, to get to max level or, you know, be super efficient. I'm just having fun. Uh, let's do... What do I need? We'll get more experience items. So, 
I don't know if this is the right way to do it, but pretty much what I've been doing is just whack on six attempts, uh, challenge, and I've just been going on to my friend list here and just picking random characters. Basically, I've been kind of sticking with Black Swan because I know what she does. And also Kafka. Dummy mommy space. <laughs> oh my. Oh my. Um, yeah, I've, I've kind of not been wanting to spoil characters that I've not seen yet. So we'll go with, um, I don't know. Also, I hope I'm not doxing people here. Uh, we'll go, we'll go with, with this one. Uh. Rest assured, dear. I'll do all that I can to assist you. And she has. She's been doing a very good job, actually. So I start the challenge. And I pretty much just put it on auto, on speed up. And, yeah, they just do this, and win. I guess I could auto-fight in just the regular fights as well, couldn't I? But I also feel like that's a little bit... Not lazy, because it's a feature of the game, but... I like to... I want to learn the characters. And yeah, so I've just been... Just been doing this, really. Uh, we're almost, almost done already. Like, if I was manually doing this, this would take ages, wouldn't it? <laughs> Ting Yun giving us the uh, attack boosts. There we go. So that's what I've been doing. That's what I've been doing. But again, I'll be doing that off screen. I'll be doing that off screen. Uh, one more time. No, not right now. Uh, although, probably will do once I've finished the video. And yeah, look, we're... Are we not... Wait a sec. Am I maxed out on my Trailblaze? Oh, I'm over my Trailblaze XP. For level 20, so I must have hit the cap. And I think that means I need to do an equilibrium thing, but that... I'm not actually sure how that works. I've got messages, I should check those actually. But let's quickly get our dailies. Uh, claim. Boom. And claim. 60 more jade, a thousand more trailblaze XP, so I'm glad that that's not going to waste, because I've hit the cap. That's a relief. Because otherwise that would suck. Um, yeah, so... Holy crud. Messages. Oh, Arlen and Asta have sent me a message. Okay. Um, I What? What? Yeah, question mark. Oh, I should quickly go back to Pom Pom as well because I've got some things to claim. A. I. I, uh... This is terrifying, bro. <laughs> what the fuck is going on with him? I'm so sorry. Peppy just sat on my phone. Wait, who's Peppy? Who's Peppy? Is it, I'm guessing it's a pet of his. Can Peppy unlock a phone? <laughs> ah! <laughs> I'm just gonna do that for the lols. What happened? Question mark. Yeah, how, how, now how the how the turns have tabled. Oh, this is emo. I remember. Did Pom Pom from the Express also sit on your phone? Oh, it's Pom Pom. Wait, is Peppy Pom Pom? Is Peppy a pet name for Pom Pom? There's a lot of peas in that. Um, exclamation! I got Jade. For th that was weird. I love these though. I love how unhinged they are. Asta, what's going on with you? Do you want to know about? Do you know what a rich mindset is? Do you want to know about a rich mindset? It's probably one that I'll never have. Uh, don't know, don't want to. No, I do. What's a rich mindset? Do you really want to ask me that, Miss Aster? Good answer. Can I get a screenshot of this? I mean, you, I'll blur out your name. You won't get in trouble. Why would I get in trouble anyway? Can I still recall that message? It's okay, it's not a big deal. Oh, whenever you, people say that, it is a big deal. I have the misfortune to be invited to do a... a streamed seminar again. The topic is... Uh, summit Talk, a rich mindset, will change your financial views and lift your perspectives on wealth. I need to convince them this topic is super boring. Who would want to watch that? I'd rather watch Peppy play Hollow Disc. I'd rather watch a robot deliver food. I mean... As long as they're delivering the food to me. Um, I'd rather watch Peppy play Holodisc. Ha 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 ha, true. 
Do you mind if I take another screenshot? I'm going to be in so much trouble if you don't blur out my name. Mm. Random AF, but kind of dig it. Gotta say, kind of enjoy that travel log. I don't think there's anything new. It's just that festival thing. Um, I'm still not sure if I should do that. Like, what happens if I do go to it? Oh, it's oh, it's an online thing. Oh. Oh, it's a QR code. Do you have to do this on your phone? I don't. Or my inv invitation code copied successfully. Go to event. I don't know how to do this. I don't know what I'm doing. Uh. Oh, my battery's low. That's good. Right, screw that. Screw that. I'm not going to worry about that. Uh, let's go quickly to the store. Is there any passes I can buy? I do have a bit of jade. Uh, diddly diddly dee. Yep, spend my embers. Get two more. Oh, wait, that was special. Oh, that was regular passes. Oh, crap. I didn't. Ah, whatever. I could do with those anyway, I suppose. It doesn't, it doesn't really matter. I know some people are like, you should save those. The special pass. It's fine. Uh, we'll go, get another one there. Boom. I think, uh, I think I've got... Again, I could pull. I could do another pull, but I think I'm gonna... I think I'm gonna wait. I think I'm pretty happy with what I got right now. I've got a few characters I need to use, like, um, Su Shang as well. I'll have to test her out. Uh, please complete trial of... Oh, okay. Please complete trial of what? Is it in my missions? Oh, trial of equilibrium part one. Must complete Trailblaze mission, not good with farewells. Alright, so we just gotta progress the story. A creature calling himself the Arbitrator gave you a trial. According to this, uh, to its vague but convinced declaration, you will meet stronger foes but receive better rewards. So I, I've been told that Equilibrium is basically raising the, the levels of enemies in, in the game. Or something like that. I mean, I'm gonna get some rewards for it if I do. And obviously we need to, to be able to get a higher level anyway, so... Uh, yeah. Also, yeah, I didn't realize you could transmute materials into other materials, so that's pretty nifty. I've been doing a little bit of that off-screen. Um, should I... Well, let's go, let's go back to the main story and just keep on trucking with that for now. Whoops. Navigates. Go. Yeah. So yeah, just let me know if you want to see a lot of that kind of everyday login stuff. Looks like we're about to trigger a cutscene, maybe, and fight more robots. This vein. So this is what everyone is fighting over. Clara. Mr. Sparrow, it's such a massive vein. I've never seen so much geo marrow before. That's what she said. Sorry. Sorry. Um, why have you not got any shoes, Clara? Calculating. Oh, wait, you're Sparrog. Average rate of excavation. This vein is enough to supply Bellabog with 231 days of energy, with a margin of error of seven days. Right. He looks pretty intimidating. I sense that your reason for summoning me is not the or in question. State your true intention, Clara. I recognize his voice. I know it's heavily distorted, but I do recognize his voice. Right. I wanted Mr. Sparg to see that many miners and vagrants have gotten hurt because of the vein. Can you help them? I have already prevented the dispute and taken temporary control of the excavation zone. Evaluation result. In the event of no further variables, there will be no large-scale armed conflict within the next 30 days. Is that true? I know why you did it, Mr. Sparog. It's just... I don't think it'll be enough. The mining team in Wildfire... They don't understand your actions. <sighs> if only we could do more for them. Oh. My mission is the protection of the underworld. The trust of the minority sample is redundant to my calculations. The trust of the minority sample is redundant in my calculations. I think I'm going to use that whenever I get the odd shitty comment from someone. <laughs> okay, so maybe his intentions are good, or... 
Human behavior will always deviate from rational calculation, Clara. Ain't that the truth? So is Farouk actually a robot? As evidence, looks like one. Their presence here. Uh oh. I mean, we're not hiding, are we? <laughs> Farag, we haven't settled our final score. Zila, subordinate to Wildfire, your resistance is futile. The result of my calculation is unequivocal. Remaining in the underworld is the optimal strategy for survival. This again. Calculation results, survival strategies. I haven't got time for your thesis. Withdraw your forces, or I'll lose my temper. Observe, Clara. Even under abject conditions, humans are unable to avoid division and conflict. He does seem very logical and calm. Maybe because he is a robot, I don't know. He looks like one. He certainly sounds like one. Um, yeah, we do seem to be the aggressors in this situation, suddenly. But Mr. Sparog... Human failure to accept the calculation result is a significant threat to the survival strategy of the underworld. Calculation complete. Result unequivocal. Armed suppression of wildfire and their allies is the optimal course of action. Oh dear. Um, this guy looks stronger than the other robots. His robots don't seem too friendly. Well, he does look a lot stronger than the other ones. And more fashionably dressed, too. <laughs> Uh, hey, is he about to leave? What about the girl in red? Yeah, I don't know what her deal is. We must leave, Clara. External variables have triggered a calculation reset. The furnace core hub requires protection. Please, Nils. Don't hit them too hard. Uh-oh. <sighs> I was getting bored of those minions. Time for a real fight. Come at me! Come at me, bro. Straight into a fight. Okay. Ooh. Okay, you big boy. Detonation order. Oh. Oh. Timed module. What? what? We're in trouble now. Are they going to explode? Are they going to explode? I feel like they're going to explode. Right. Uh, let's buff. Uh, let's buff Welt. So we can only buff one person at once. I have no interest in stoking Um. Right. Dan. You will be super effective against those, so let's take those out if we can. Yeah, so Dan inflicts slow, which means... You know, Welt should do more damage. Uh, right, I'm not really super good against any of these. We'll just hit him. Oh, got our ultimate as well. Uh, which we might as well use. Uh, rules are made to, be to be broken! broken! Give him a nice little slap there. You your welcome. Goodbye. Right, so the minions are gone. He's probably going to summon more of them. He's probably going to summon more of them. Right, Welt. Uh, yeah, let's have a quick look at your um, skills properly. So basic attack. So he he's does imaginary damage. So that's nice to have on the team. Uh, Edge of the void deals imaginary damage equal to thirty nine percent. To a single enemy, further deals damage two extra times with each time dealing imaginary damage equal to thirty nine percent. To a random enemy on hit, there is a sixty percent, sixty six percent base chance to reduce the enemy's speed. So yeah, I'm guessing that means you know less enemy turns. Uh, and especially if we inflict in prison, I think that's what does the most damage to the turn order, possibly. Technique, we can't use right now. Uh, when hitting an enemy that is already slowed, does additional damage. Okay. So, let's do... I mean, we've not slowed it yet, so we're not really gonna do too much. Ooh! Oh, we've inflicted slow already, anyway. I didn't realize he could also inflict slow. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. That doesn't look good. Are always welcome. Looks like... Welt is being targeted, I think? Let's have a look. Uh... Or are we... What, what ailment is that? Details, details. Taunt can only select auto... 
Automaton Grizzly as the target to attack. Oh, well, that's fine. There's only one bloody target anyway. Um, and we're not a healer or anything, so that doesn't really matter. We got Benediction uh, from Tingyun, uh, which is good. And yeah, we should be doing extra damage. Right, Tingyun, since you can't buff more than one person, we might as well just have you attack. Which will help break it slightly. Dan. Go for it. Might as well go for your ultimate as well. The truth of life and death revealed in an instant. This sanctuary is but a vision. I don't, I don't think this thing's gonna be too tough. Ooh, look at that damage, Dan. What the hell? Right. Uh, we'll just hit it because again, I'd, I'd rather save my skill points for welts and people like that. You can still walk away. Right, let's do this. I won't go easy on you. Nice. That was a lot of damage. Ooh, okay, okay. I must remember, I don't have a healer. I don't have a healer, and I don't have anyone who can shield us. So we've just gotta, just gotta hope for the best. Right. Let me just quickly. So I think Tingyun's buff lasts for what three turns? Is it? One turn remaining. Yeah. Okay. Ooh, and we've got her ultimate, so let's give... Uh, I mean, Welt's kind of almost got his ultimate anyway, but I do want to see what that looks like, so... I think I'm just going to use that on him. Even though I think probably Dan would benefit more from this. Good omens. I just really want to see Welt's ultimate. Damage Step boost aside. as well. Oh, you're I in for no a world of pain, buddy. Hunt. This is totally going to kill him. Nothing of the weight behind this, this is totally going to kill him. Witness the stars shatter before you. Survive or be destroyed. There is no other choice. Oh! Oh, it didn't kill him, but very nearly. Wow. Okay. And Dan, do the business. This thing is done. Goodbye, big battle box. Hmm, wealth is interesting, yeah. Not bad. How many of these big guys is Sparog hiding? A lot, which is why Wildfire has never been able to take him down. Svarag's forces are too strong. We don't have enough firepower. You do now. That girl in red. Clara? Don't worry about her. That girl is best pals with Svarag. She's always following behind him. He wouldn't harm her. What, but who is she, though? What, 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 uh, what role does she play in all this? I guess I'm just used to seeing them together now, even if I don't understand it. Okay. Let's look for the chief. Yeah, we still need to find Oleg. No need to look far. No, we don't. Hi, Oleg. Nice work, Zila. We were attacked on both sides by robots. Who knows where they came from? We thought we were in it for the long haul. <laughs> His mouth isn't even moving. We got a ventriloquist over here. Uh, hi, Oleg. Nice beard. Is everyone okay? Is anyone injured? We're fine. We're used to it at this point. We sent those pesky robots and ragtag troops packing. The mines should be quiet for a while. And, uh, who are your friends here? Hi. Ah, them. They're outsiders that Sample brought down from who knows where. They need a favor from Wildfire, so I brought them with me. It'll be faster if they explain. Um, are you the chief? You're a hard man to find. Pleased to meet you. We're here to make friends with Wildfire. I'm gonna be super friendly. Look at that little smile. <laughs> it's been a while since I heard that anyone was pleased to meet anyone. <laughs> I won't forget you in a hurry. Wildfire welcomes you. Okay. I mean, I'd be very pleased to meet Sydney Sweeney. I'd, I'd you know... So, <clears throat> to all this trouble to find wildfire, what help is it you need? Uh, you got a badass ice scar as well. Gotta love that. Telling Oleg and Sila, Zila, Sile. Uh, okay. I didn't know you'd put on a show for the overworld too. Impressive. Thanks. <laughs> well, this is new. Wildfire can barely take care of the underworld. And now outsiders are looking for assistance from us. 
This Stellaron you speak of. I've never heard of it. But if it's a secret that even we locals don't know about, then one name does come to mind. Do tell. It's amazing how he talks without moving his mouth. Is he, is he like, speaking directly to our minds? Uh, do you mean... Kokolia? Do you mean Sampo? Uh, if it's a secret that even we locals don't know about. I mean, it could be either of them. I'm just gonna say... Sampo. Really? <laughs> you might as well try the Supreme Guardian. Ah. The uh, current Supreme Guardian is a liar who uses sweet words to deceive the underworld. She's never cared about our survival. Well, we know, we, well, our characters don't know, but we know there's something weird going on with her. Stop right there. I won't allow you to insult the Madam Guardian. In this overworld, my words may be painful to you, but every one of them is true. Go out into the towns and hear for yourself. See how the people here suffer. <sighs> I haven't gotten close to voicing the extent of the Underworld's grievances, young lady. But I will respect your request. I will leave it at that for now. It's amazing how he does that. But then again, I can do it too. I bet you guys didn't know that. I, I can actually talk without moving my mouth. Watch. Boobs. See? It's amazing. I, I, I don't know how I do it. Let's get back to the main topic. The name that came to my mind was Svarog. Yeah, huh? Well, we've just seen him. Huh? Isn't Svarog Wildfire's sworn enemy? You'd think so. Why would a mere robot in the underworld have knowledge of important secrets? It's a very good question, Dan. Sworn enemy. <laughs> Not how I see it. The young master here is closer. Svarog is a cold, unfeeling machine. Mm. He recognizes only the dead reasoning of his calculations. Svarog is not against wildfire. Or perhaps I should say, wildfire isn't even of concern to him. That ancient robot witnessed the war. If you're looking to pick up a thread, he may well be your best source. So Svarog's like super old as well. Is he really that old? He looks pretty new. Don't judge a book by its cover. I myself have put a few centuries behind me. Would you be able to tell? Definitely not, but that's what I suppose uh, stasis in whatever that special ice was that <laughs> does for you. Very good for your complexion. I'm familiar with over 20 long life species. None of them look like you. Ow. Uh, hey, would it kill you to play along? <laughs> Robots don't forget. If Svarog hasn't heard of your Stellaron, then I'm afraid perhaps no one has. Hmm. Okay, so we really need to find Svarog still. In which case, we need to think of a way to convince Svarog to communicate with us. Or get him to hand over his memory bank. We could go through it ourselves. Yeah, he says robots don't forget. Well, I mean, what what if, what if his SSD malfunctions? I don't know what memory he ha uh, units he has, but... What should we do? What should we do, Dan? We've tried repeatedly to negotiate with Svarog, but he rejects every effort. He believes that wildfire is a threat. Still, if it were you guys... Hmm. It's difficult to say. We have time. Let's get into the detail tomorrow. It's late, and you must have been through a lot. Go back to the town and rest. I'll make arrangements. Okay. Again? <laughs> I'm starting to get nervous of arranged rest on this planet. This is true. <laughs> the last one didn't quite end so well for us. As for our silver mane girl here, do you have time? I'd like to talk with you in private. I love her earrings. She's got a lovely pair of earrings. Uh, Faded Sun. Uh, da, 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 da. Oh, a record that can be played on the Express. Oh, it's more music, of course. Okay, cool. And an enigmatic ecos... E something. Right. So, we need to go to the accommodation arranged by Oleg. So, I think we've... Have we reached the end of this uh, mine for now? I suppose we have. Is there any more... 
Have I missed any more chests? There's apparently a lot more, but uh, maybe we can't get to them yet. Uh, did I go over this way? Oh shit, there's vagrants here. Oh god. Right, right near us. And also, ooh, yeah, I do want to fight you. I do want to fight you. Alright, let's... Keep at it. Restore. Well, we really should just run up to the space anchor, which is right there. And do that. There we go. That doesn't restore energy, I've just realized. This does. Right, let's do... Uh, an enhance. Uh, welt. You can do an impair if we can, if we can manage it. Aha! Aha! I hope, I hope we can do this. I hope we can do this fight. Ooh, there's a lot of them too. We're in trouble now. Right, so they're in. Are they? They're imprisoned, right? So, let's have a look. Uh, imprisonment action is delayed and speed is reduced. Excellent. Hounding pursuit unremovable. If felling order hits a single target that does not currently have a shield, immediately use dismantle on a random target. Uh oh. Uh oh. I think. I think. Uh, I think maybe going into this without any healer or shielder is probably a bad idea. Uh, support. Let's get Welt buffed again. Clemency? Never heard of it. Right. Which one should we get rid of? We'll get rid of you. Or at least attack you. I don't think we're going to get rid of you, per se. But you're the only one that doesn't have imprisonment. Okay, you're gone. Excellent. Also, we do have an ultimate. This is going to hurt. Ooh, and we're bleeding. The truth okay. Of life and death. Okay. All right, get rid of you. This is but a vision. Bosh. See you later. 961 damage. Ooh, who are you locking on to? Dan. Okay. Let's okay. Go. Uh, right. Let's blast you. Oh, that's going to be... Oh, that's going to leave me with no skill points to use for Welt. I'd rather use... Okay, let's not do that then. Uh, just, just, just hit that one. It's fine. Leave the rest to me. Okay. Bounce. I won't go easy on you. Ooh, yep. Inflict slow. Recovered from imprisonment. Ow. Are always welcome. Right. Let's do single to. Uh, actually, yeah. Finish you off. Okay. Felling order. Oh, so he's going to do dismantle. Is it? Yep. Ow. Ow. Okay. We need to We need to start piling into this guy. Pronto. Uh, can we inflict slow on him? Does he already have? I don't think he already has. No, he doesn't. Okay. Uh, just hit him. We've still got a bit of health. We, we can do this. We can do this. Bounce. Calm your body and mind. Okay. He has been slowed. Ooh. Oh, he's going for Ting Yun. Let's be friends, shall we? That's fine. Halfway to breaking him. Uh, go for it, Dan. Nice. Nearly got some ultimates there. Uh, just attack him. And yeah, go for an ultimate. Or should I wait for him to be broken? I don't think it. Do you do more damage when the enemy's broken? I feel like you do. I again, I could be wrong. Right, let's go for single targets. Bosh. Ooh, that was tasty. You can still walk away. Right. I won't go easy on you. Oh, so nearly got his ultimate. This is gonna sting. Ow. Uh mm. okay, what I might do is I could use that on me. I'm talking about her ultimate. Let's um, let's just attack him. So that's broken him. Nice. 
Welt should get his ultimate after his next attack anyway. This thing's nearly dead, to be honest. Thing's nearly dead. In fact, we got so many ultimates. I'm just gonna spam them. Let's make it quick. When I get chance. Well, I do have. I could spam them now, but. Leave the rest right, Welt. Calm your body and mind. Let's go for your ultimate. Which yeah, he's dead. He's dead. You know nothing of the way. He's super dead. Power. Witness the stars shatter before you. That is a very cool ultimate. Survive or be destroyed. There is that no is choice. a very very cool ultimate. Okay, formidable foe defeated. We don't need healers. We don't need healers. Let's see what we get. Whole bunch of XP. Shields. Yeah, let's run around as uh, Welt. I like his scarf. Very very dapper. Right. Uh, oh, you know what we should probably do? Yeah, let's go back to the train quickly and uh, and get our rewards from Pom Pom. Let's do that. So yeah, I might not be using well particularly well at the moment. Um, I'll have to maybe do a bit of practice with him because his ultimate doesn't seem to be doing that much damage. Uh, but maybe it is more just about slowing enemies' turns as opposed to straight-out damage at the moment. I don't know. Uh, but I think him and Dan do work well together. So let's go back to the parlor car. I mean, Pom Pom does have a side quest, don't they? Which we could possibly do. Yeah, they're just like depressed over here, so maybe we will just see what they want. It might be a quick one, I don't know. Uh, but let's, no, let's grab our rewards first. Level 18 rewards, ooh, 50 jade. Very nice, more fuel. Um, oh, we're gonna get an Eidolon thing? Shadow of Destruction, ooh. And Oh, quid pro quo, a light cone. Nice. I'll have to see what that does, actually. Let's have a look. Uh, for Path of the Abundance, uh, start the wearer's turn, it regenerates eight energy for a random chosen ally. Oh, whose current energy is lower than 50%. All right, that seems okay. Right. So after raising your equilibrium level, enemies in the world will be will become stronger. After raising, uh, they'll drop more rewards as well, though. Okay, and level cap will be increased to thirty. Right. Okay. Uh, yeah, Pom Pom, are you okay? Do you? What, what did you call me back for? Pom Pom is so clumsy at messaging people and keeps pros pressing the wrong thing. Come back regularly and see Pom Pom face to face, mage. Pom Pom called you back this time for a very simple reason, mage. <clears throat> Have you ever been a bit confused or troubled on your journey of growth? All the time. All the time. A little. Why, that's normal. Pom Pom remembers feeling similarly bewildered back in the day. I'd stay up all night, gazing up at the stars, exploring... Uh, whoops, how did that sentence go again? Drats. Pom Pom is completely blanked on what comes after. Anyway, it's great to see your continued growth, mage. Thanks. Here's a reward for you. Quick, take it. Uh, and about what just happened to Pom Pom, please don't tell anyone. It was just a minor slip up. Hey, we all have, we all have. Uh, uh, I, oh my god, I'm, I'm brain, I'm blanking on the on the term. How ironic! Right. Okay. Well, that was quick. I like this train. This train is very cozy. Uh, characters. So, got more relics for Welt, I guess. Recommended gear. Just do that. There we go. Uh, yeah, we got a new Eidolon. Hey, hey! Attacking enemies with physical weakness restores the Trailblazer's HP equal to 5% of my attack. Oh, okay. Choice isn't as elusive as it seems. Alright, I mean, that's definitely going to help, isn't it? Nice. Right. Uh... Yeah, I don't have any Eidolons for anyone else yet, do I? Let's do... Uh, let's level you up to 30. I do like you, actually, yeah. I've got I've got so many materials at the moment. 
Okay. So hopefully we'll be doing a bit more damage now. Also, what light cone do you have? Oh yeah, it's this one. Yeah, loop, which I have superimposed to five, by the way, just in case those were uh, anyone was asking. Uh, so increase damage to slow down. Yeah, 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 yeah. He's he's gonna be super good against things that are slow. Uh, my light cone isn't that amazing. Basically, just gives me more attack and skill damage, uh, which is good. But um, I can't wait to get like a level four light cone for you. I mean, I I still don't have one. No, no, that's okay. That's pretty good. Right. So. Let's go back to Boulder Town. And rest up. The next destination, up to you. Oh, thanks, Well, Uh, Gertie, restaurant owner, oh, hello. You must be Oleg's guests. Welcome to the Gerda Grand Hotel. Yes, we've stayed at another branch uh, of, of this fine chain of hotels. Yep. You've probably seen that stylish Gerda Hotel above ground, right? I have. Uh, not the most pleasant memories of that place. I mean, I liked the wardrobe. That's the above ground branch of the Grand Hotel. A few hundred years ago, one ancestor of the Gerda family was ambitious and sought to build something big from nothing. He eventually realized his dream and opened a hotel branch in the most expensive area on the surface. Oh, people with big dreams have big determination. They sure do, March. Oleg wants me to take good care of y'all. Here's the key. You'll be staying in our most spacious guest room. I like the sound of this. What do you think? Should we go ahead and call it a day? Or walk around a bit more first? Uh, I think we'll call it a day. I think we'll call it a day. I'm tired. Let's go back to the room and rest. <sighs> Time to rest again. There aren't any surprises this time. It probably will be. That Oleg, he seems sincere. What do you guys think? Yeah, he seems like a decent chap. I think he's a good person. Appearances can they can be deceiving. No comment. Um, I think he's a good person. Mm. In before I'm proven wrong. Dan, Dan, do you not agree with that? <sighs> Don't you have something cool to say? Like appearances can be deceiving. <laughs> oh, I should have said that now. I don't try to disagree. But if you ask for my opinion, it's better to be safe than sorry. Yeah, that's probably a good a good philosophy. Oh, fine. We'll keep our guards up. Our last hotel experience was eventful to say the least. One of us should keep watch tonight. Uh, I don't vote me. I need sleep. Uh, keep watch? Are we space cowboys now? <laughs> Guess this is the cosmic wild west. <laughs> oh, anyone else sleepy? Pretend yawn. <laughs> Pretend yawn. March looks the most awake. How about you uh, set us a good example, Dan? Uh, I mean, he did suggest it, so you know what? I volunteer him. <sighs> sure. I don't have much need for sleep. I bloody do. I'll keep watch. Oh. Oh, cheers, Bronya. Are you are you friends with us now? Bronya, did you finish talking to Oleg? Hope he didn't make things difficult for you. Not really. Though it wasn't the friendliest conversation. We didn't see eye to eye on everything. Hmm. I've come to know a great deal in a short time. Doubt I'll be able to fall asleep tonight. Okay. I doubt I'll be able to sleep either. Not that I don't trust you. It's just you're a silver main guard officer in the underground. There might be people looking to harm you. And you did uh, try and arrest us, so you know. I wouldn't be surprised if there are. The silver main guards have a lot to make amends for down here. Okay, she seems to have changed her tune a little bit. If someone had made a stand in the outset and explained the consequences to Madame Cocolia. Meaningless to talk about it now. Mm. You don't need to worry about me. Oleg guaranteed that I wouldn't be harmed. He seemed like a man of his word. Go and rest. I don't know if Dan would agree with that assessment, but uh, okay. Boom. In our room. 
I mean, they said this was the most spacious. I've I've slept in cupboards bigger than this. I suppose it is the underworld, though. We gotta we can't beggars can't be choosers. Uh, that's our bed. Collect this greasy food magazine. Due to being hung over the counter and continually exposed to cooking fumes, the edges of the paper have been stained with oil sprays. <laughs> Plan to develop a few new dishes. If you have any ideas, let me know, Gertie. Uh, it looks kind of bad. It's all goopy and stuff, so it turned uh, me off a bit. Don. It's called Wild Herb Soup, but it's actually moss from the cave. Okay. Saunders, Don. Can't really this is, oh my god, I am not reading all of that, but I bet it's hilarious. That's so much. Good lord. Paper pens and a pot of black ink are laid out in plain on a plain wooden table. You lean down slightly, trying to make out the messy handwriting on the paper. Technology in the underworld might be outdated, but printing as a technique remains as prevalent as ever. Perhaps this establishment opted to handwrite its notes to give customers a warm feeling of being valued. But this kind of thought only manages to make reading more difficult for you. As you scan over those polite and pointless words, your eyes start to hurt. Finally, you find the most important part at the bottom of the page. Gertie, the owner, warmly invites you to rate our services. Oh, it's a survey. A grading session, your favourite. You vaguely remember having this experience before, with you sitting in the backseat of a hover taxi flying from one place in the city to another. The pilot of the hover taxi doesn't chat with you on the whole ride, not offering even the most cursory of greetings. But as you open the door to climb out, he suddenly says, Please give me a five-star review. No, you won't. You are the embodiment of impartiality. You would never take pity on a test with a score of 49, uh, 49 and change it to 50 for a pass. You strongly believe that good reviews are earned, not handed out. I mean, true. Should be the case, yeah. Uh, you look around this cheap room. You hear the walls wailing and see the cupboard trembling. Now you're the most impartial critic in the whole of the cosmos. I mean, I've not even slept in the bed yet. Um... I mean, I, 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 I'm just going to be super nice, actually. I'm going to be very satisfied. Bed, very good. If you had to choose between this bed and the small beds in the express passenger car, you wouldn't hesitate for a second. Dear guest, please rate the tea provided. Very satisfied. Very good. The best tea ever. If possible, you'd love to bring Dan Hang, uh, Dan Hung here to sample this tea solely because you are convinced that he is someone who knows a lot about tea. He does come across like that, doesn't he? Rate the lighting and view from your hotel room. I mean, it's pretty dark outside because we're underground, but yeah, very satisfied. The lighting in the room is exactly how you like it. Not too bright, not too dark. Just right. As for the view, a well-known connoisseur of retro architecture, you find the Boulder Town Street view to be very appealing. Thank you for evaluating the service here at the uh, GoTo Hotel. You may find a comment in this. Uh, leave a comment in the space below. You will we'll take your feedback seriously and try our best to improve our services. See, I think Gertie's just trying her best down here. You know, given the circumstances. Oh my God. Uh, better to make a multiple choice question. Write nothing. I'm very happy with the excellent service. Thank you. It was an average experience. I probably won't come back. May I suggest you buy some memory foam pillows and velvet quilts? Oh no, I'm very happy. You successfully passed the comment component of the test. There is only one blank space left on this piece of paper. If possible, please leave your name so we can notify you when we have discounts. Ooh. Discounts, what a beautiful word. Let's write our esteemed name here then. Mage. Your friendly neighborhood nameless, Heisenberg. <laughs> You're goddamn right. Uh, I'm going to put my name. Your masterpiece is done. You've just completed the single most unbiased service review in the history of the universe without a hint of any subjective emotion. Oh, totally. Totally, yeah. No, you're right. You flip back the feedback card that you've just completed and discover a thick stack of identical cards. You are faced with several options. Finished. Now go over the whole review again? I... I only have one option. Your comment for the shop. I'm very happy. Your signature mage. Your rating... Very satisfied. Yep. Satisfied. No! Oh god, I nearly pressed that. I'm done. I'm done. You put away the completed service- God, if I had to go through that again. Perhaps you should give it 
uh, straight to Gertie to demonstrate your status as a valued guest. Maybe, maybe I will? Will I be able to do that? I don't know. Should we check the cupboard? I can't. I can't check the wardrobe. No! Right. In bed we go. The bed isn't very soft, but this room feels more homey than the coldly decorated Overworld Hotel. So tired. Hope I can get a good night's sleep. I lost her. My wish. Your so-called plan. What is the point of it all? That voice again. Such a strange dream. That was a very strange dream. So I'm guessing that was uh, uh, Coconut and talking about a daughter? I thought Bronya was a daughter, unless she had another daughter that she lost in the past. May as well go for a walk if I can't sleep. Or is she talking about the fact that Bronya has vanished because she has. She's, she's, un she's underworld. I don't know. I'm, mm. uh, can't sleep. Okay. Let's go outside for a walk. That hair is insane. Who goes there? Show yourself. Oh, she's on edge. Oh, it's you. Don't sneak up behind me next time. Lucky for you, I wasn't armed. Well, I'm glad you're doing a good job, though. No sleep for you either, huh? No, I tried. Been having nightmares recently. I'm worried about the future. Ain't that the truth? Uh, I can't sleep unless I've worked eight for eight hours. That ain't true. As I'm having nightmares recently. Mm, I understand. The more that weighs on your mind, the more your fears become dreamscapes. Mm. Actually, seeing as there's no one around, it, can I ask you some things? Uh, ask away. This Stellaron you speak of, if you were to find it, how sure are you that you could stop the Eternal Freeze? I mean, I, I'm i not really sure. This is my first gig. Uh, you better ask Dan, but I'm just going to say 100%. Your confidence actually makes me even more worried. <laughs> this isn't like helping a child make a snowball. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I really have no basis for that, so, you know... That's fair. You know, it was difficult for me to believe you. Some of the words you use are too alien for those that have lived their entire life in Bellabog. As far as I was concerned, Madame Kakolia's order to arrest you sounded reasonable. But why didn't she issue it straight away? That's the thing, right? She was quite friendly with us at first. What was the, what was the point of the subterfuge? She could have just arrested us immediately. She must have realized something about you. Something I haven't yet been able to perceive for myself. It bothers me. Mm. What must have transpired to cause her such a drastic change? Ah, still, orders are orders. It's not for soldiers to question their superiors. She really does give me Beatrix vibes. Uh, you had no choice. Only a fool follows orders blindly. I mean... I'm kind of going to say that, even though I feel like she probably won't like that. you to remind me mm. and I didn't have every confidence that I was doing the right thing but the sense of duty to carry out an order is bound to prevail with me mm -hmm. in the past overworld soldiers on the front line would lose their lives in droves and yet the fragmentum's advance would remain unaffected nevertheless 
that was her reason for deploying all the Silvermane guards to the front line. The transport line for supplies in Geomero have remained open, but the passage between the surface and the underground ceased. <sighs> I approved of that decision. I never thought that the underworld would sink into such ruin without the Silvermane guards. Perhaps Mother was wrong. But how can I change her mind? I've tried, but she won't listen. I don't know how to get through to her. Hmm. You should become the Supreme Guardian. I mean, that might end up happening. I have no idea. I do worry that we are going to end up fighting our mother. Uh, we'll help you. Help me change the mind of the Madam Guardian? <laughs> Not easy. Nobody knows that better than I do. I'm sure. Uh, the more I think about it, the more disoriented I get. Which in turn makes me think about it even more. I just want a better life for the people of Bellabog. I like you, Bronya. You're a good egg in my in my basket. Uh, the world is more complicated than you think. Let's work together. Maybe we can make a change. You can't save the world alone. Let's work together. Maybe you're right. Or not. Right now, I... I just need more time to think. That's, that's okay. Walk with me. Let's forget our problems for a while. Heck yeah. I love forgetting problems. Yeah, she's... She's, she's a good person. I... I would like her in my party, but obviously it doesn't work like that in this game. We have to the last pull her. I went for a walk like this. I never thought I'd take one through such a strange place. With someone I'd only just gotten to know. It's so quiet here. I'm not used to it. Ah, uh, the quieter things are around you, the louder they are. I'm surprised the vagrants oh. in the Great Mine go after the mining teams. They must be desperate. Still? Whatever their situation, a crime is a crime. How is the law supposed to find a balance between justice and compassion in the face of such complexity? I don't know. How much longer can you last with your current supplies? Is that Zila? Sounds like her. Let's go take a look. Plus, I read the subtitle. I know. I'll go to Rivet Town and bring them back for you. It's too dangerous to go alone. Get Oleg to send someone with you. The rest of Wildfire has barely gotten any sleep the last few days. They should rest. They'd only be holding their eyelids open and slowing me down. Besides, didn't you say some of the miners were gravely injured? Lives are on the line. Is that trouble? Aren't you supposed to be sleeping? What are you doing out here? Fancy some probably not very fresh air. Up to no good, perhaps? We're just having a walk neither of us could sleep. You can rescind your baseless accusations. Ho oh, oh, ho oh. ho! Walk somewhere else, then. Easy, Zila. Maybe they can help. Nat to the rescue. Always willing to help, Miss Natasha. Uh, we're not helping anyone with a temper like that. No problem, we'll help with anything. Um... I'm o no, I'm always willing to help Natasha. She's lovely. <laughs> I'm grateful. Here's the situation. The clinic is packed full of people injured in the mines incident. Since you helped us resolve things, Zila and I have been busy caring for them. As you know, the underground is lacking resources to begin with. Add on the sudden nature of the incident, and it's no surprise that the clinic is almost out of medical supplies. We need to acquire more. Somehow. That is a problem. Get Sampo to acquire more? I'm gonna say that. You don't know him at all yet, do you? Nope. You can't rely on people like Sampo when it's important. Okay. As the fragmentum spreads underground, more monsters go roaming around, causing trouble for all the towns. That means more vagrants in the mines. The town's resources have been swallowed up by the Fragmentum. To get anything now, people have to risk their lives. Easy now, Zila. Anchor isn't good for one's health. Zila and I actually aren't from here. 
We both come from an industrial town to the north. Oh. A few years ago, the fragmentum began to seep into the town center. I used to manage an orphanage and clinic there. But after the fragmentum corroded the area, I had no choice but to move here to Boulder Town. After all, I have to survive myself if I want to save more people. Go to a corroded town to collect some useful resources? I'm in. Oh, she's all up for that. Uh, we'll help too. What's the, what's the plan? How come you catch on this quick? Now, what's the plan? You want to come as well? But you look quite tired. <sighs> no, yeah, I'm good. Don't worry about it. Hold up. I never said you could join us. People's lives are at stake. Why wouldn't you want another person to help? Besides, I have some experience with the Fragmentums. I'm sure I will be of use. That started out as a, as a pretend yawn and, and progressed into a real one, and now I'm actually... <laughs> my eyes watered a bit. Well, just don't slow me down. Zila's lack of outright rejection means she approves of you. <laughs> With you all accompanying her, my mind will be more at ease. Jolly good. Come, let me give you a list of materials we need. All right. So it looks like we're off on a little the expedition. The going to is called Rivet Town. Follow Rivet the Town? Path through the mountains to the north for a bit, and you'll arrive there. Is it like Rivet City? <sighs> let me think. I'm almost out of metal plates and bandages used for immobilizing broken bones. There's a market in the center of Rivet Town. Residents left behind piles of materials there when they evacuated. Please look for some there. Okie dokie. Oh, also rubbing alcohol. I kept a bunch at the orphanage, since the kids often got into tussles. <laughs> I didn't bring it with me when I left. Oh, I hope it's still intact. Lastly, painkillers. Oh, yeah. There should be a bunch stored in the old lab. Hopefully they haven't been destroyed by monsters. Let's go find some drugs. These should be enough to get by for a bit longer. Be careful. Don't push yourselves too hard. Cool. Metal plates and bandages, rubbing alcohol, and painkillers. Got it. Piece of cake. Cool. I apologize if I get interrupted. I've heard my niece downstairs. Let's go. If we leave now, we can still make it back before sundown. When it comes to helping injured people groaning in pain, the sooner the better. Absolutely. All right. If we we've... hadn't happened to be passing by, were you really planning on going into the Fragmentum alone? Probably, maybe. Of course. What's all the fuss about? I've done that loads of times. All right. Okay. So reckless. According to the rules of the Silvermane Guards. Any expedition into the Fragmentum must have a squad of at least four members, as well as a communications officer. Exactly. A rule of the Silvermane Guards. Don't apply your rules to us. I mean, they might they might be helpful, though. I think that is, uh, yeah. Right, so we're off to Rivet Town. The past will return as an avalanche. Interesting. Well, I think this is probably a good point to leave off with the story, and we'll do that next time. I am tempted to try some simulated universe at the end of this video, just to see how that goes, but I don't know how long it's going to take me. Um, and I am also worried that I will be interrupted at any point during this video. Uh, I may have to do some editing if that happens. Uh, but I am really... I do kind of want to do some, some more... Uh, Simulator universe, so we're gonna We're gonna really start it. I don't know if we'll finish it um, Don't know how long these runs will go for but we could use some auto battles. I suppose as well to speed things up uh, Simulated universe Let's go Official version of simulated universe forget about the previous beta version. These are uh, there are lots of changes Do you want me to give you the patch notes? Uh, just say them out loud to me <laughs> You have zero manners Firstly, Steven has made significant adjustments to the gameplay loop. According to him, the objective of each phase is even clearer. I don't really get it. Just because I'm a genius doesn't mean I understand gaming. So whatever he says goes. High degree of freedom. You can mix and match your team. Choose from a variety of blessings. And there are even random events to guarantee. Yeah, see this... I... I like the sound of this a lot. New mechanic that helps you better pretend to be Akavili. Right. Well, let's, uh, let's just go in. And kind of figure it out as we go. Voila! The official simulator universe. The real game begins now. Official game contains multiple explorable worlds with progressive difficulty. All the fun features will be gradually unlocked. Uh, 
You'll earn points each time you clear a stage. Point rewards. Let's have a look. Ooh. So I can already claim some Jade and Creditos. Nice. Refresh weekly. Okay. Yeah, so I feel like this mode might be one that would be fun to stream. If I do it a lot. I don't know. If I find time. Cool. Uh, and yeah, we unlock things in the index and get rewards for that as well. Go explore World 1. I'm sure you'll find some new stuff you've never seen before. World 1, here we go. First time clearance reward. Oh shit, look at all that jade. And we'll get a pass as well. What are those? Herta Bond. Can be used to buy items from Herta's store. Oh, nice. Right. Recommended team level 16. Well, we should be fine then. We should be fine. Download initial characters. Choose uh, from people you know to join your team. Their abilities are consistent with your perception of them in reality. Right. Yeah, this looks like this will be fairly easy. I mean, I'm, I'm level freaking 30. If you're fully prepared, then push this button. Right. Uh, so, yeah, I think we'll go with um, the same party we've been rocking. I mean, I don't know if maybe I should bring a healer along, but uh, we'll, we'll go with this for now. We'll go with this for now. Wish me luck, chaps. Here we go. First real simulator universe. While exploring cosmic fragments can be obtained. Uh, 50 cosmic fragments are gifted at the start of each, of each exploration. During exploration, consume cosmic fragments to acquire extra help. After completing at least one domain in the simulator universe in the last cycle, you can select one blessing. Upon re-entry into the simulator universe. Okay. Well, let's do... Uh, a one, so let's go for a one-star blessing. Let's just go for that. When a character launches a follow-up attack, their energy regeneration rate increases. I don't think that's really going to be happening with my current party. Character skill and ultimate deal increase damage against frozen enemies. Again, probably not going to be a thing with this party. When a character receives a shield, there's a small chance of removing a debuff. I don't think any of those are really that good for me. But we'll do... Uh, do that one. I don't think any of those are good. Right. Domain combat. Uh, so, where are we actually trying to get to... Oh, there's a lot of domains. Oh my god. Yeah, we might not even get all this done today. But at least we'll have seen some of it. I might complete the rest of this off screen if I don't get a chance to uh, do it all. But... I think this is probably where a lot of um, auto battling might might help. Oh wow, we've already killed two of them. Holy crows! Yeah, let's just auto battle. Speed this up. Nice, nice. And blessings that have not been unlocked have been marked to help you collect them. Oh, nice. Appropriate rewards will be provided. When the index is unlocked. Right, so we got two two star one. When characters deal damage to enemies, there is a chance to freeze the enemy. Oh, well, that will help with that first blessing I've got. Let's go for that one. Yes. Oh, we got some more cosmic fragments as well. Is anything back here? No. Nope. Love this track as well. Smash. Destructible objects. Oh, they drop cosmic fragments. Okay. Ooh, lock on. Okay. Yeah, I'm just gonna. We're just gonna auto for this. I feel like we've seen these enemies before, anyway. Yeah, that's just much quicker. Much quicker. Uh, increase effect hit rates. Characters gain shield when they apply freeze on enemies. Ooh. Ooh. Or regenerate enemy uh, energy. I think, actually, we'll try that one. I know we've only probably got a small chance of freezing them, but... Uh, let's go to... Dan. Enhance. Probably don't need to, really, but... Wow, one enemy gone already. One enemy gone already. 
Oh, she's doing her ultimate. Oh, that damage boost. Oh, got another achievement there as well. Nice. God, so many blessings. Increase the max damage that can be absorbed by shields. Characters have a high chance of receiving a shield at the end of a turn. Oh, yes, please. I like these. I like how every run is going to be very different. Domain Exile. That enemy certainly isn't friendly. No. Shouldn't be a problem, though. Can't imagine this. Yeah, can't imagine we're going to be struggling against enemies this level. Although, and again, you do look like you've got a bit of health on you. Let's see how we do. Let's see how we do. Yeah, it's so much quicker using auto, isn't it? Ooh, nice. Yeah, we did get a shield there as well. Sweet. Oh, right. Uh, an elite enemy can select a blessing one time. After attacking enemies, the design characters deal quick damage. After characters launch a follow-up attack, when entering battle, characters gain a stackable special shield. Oh, let's go for that one. Let's go for that one. All right, well, that was a small section. Maybe it won't take as long as I thought, especially if we use speed up. Um, oh! Oh! That's Herta and the downloader, which we can use to get an extra character or change a character, is it? I'm actually pretty happy. I'm pretty happy with what we've got right now. Herta's puppet appears in the simulated universe. Having only communicated with you via voice before, it's a little surprising to see her manifesting like this. She looks at you expressionlessly. Resting area, give you a chance to catch your breath. Uh, restore your health. Resurrect your team. Buy equipment. Buy equipment? Oh. And enhance blessings. Uh, as the game master, I can take I can make your blessings stronger or even make them earth shattering make earth shattering changes to them for the price of cosmic fragments. Okay. Let's have a look. Ooh, yeah, I think I'm going to really like this mode. Blessings will become stronger after enhancing. Right. Yep, fairly straightforward. Uh, so I've got 214. So I can enhance any of these. Uh, you know what? We'll enhance that one. Uh... Already enhanced. Oh. Enhanced Blessing? That one? Oh, that's what it's going to turn into. Oh, I see, I see. I got confused there. Right. Sweet. Might as well get more energy back. This will strengthen our position. Yeah, I think I'm really going to enjoy this mode. And the fact that you can, uh, yeah, you can just auto battle, which I guess is all about setting up your team right, and then they'll be okay. For story stuff, though, I'm not going to auto battle. It's just for stuff like this. Oh, brilliant! Survive or be destroyed. There is no other choice. Yeah, the imprisonment thing I think is going to be huge for us. But I might, I might, I'll probably will again keep swapping characters in and out because I, I would like to try Su Chang as well, or Su Shang, whatever her name is. Uh, increase max damage that can be absorbed by shields. Yeah, go for that one. Get wrecked. I'm glad so many of these are weak to wind. Bosh. Yeah, so hunt characters are always pretty much single targets, uh, aren't they? Rules are made to be broken. Battle over. We're kicking ass here. We're kicking ass. When a character launches a follow-up, uh, uh, go for that one. Mostly harmful. Yeah. 
Yeah, so again, since this is my first run of this, we're going to show it all. Uh, we're really, we're really not struggling. Like, this is no problem. And we've inflicted slow and imprisoned, so you don't get a turn, bitch. Nice. Lovely jabbly. Uh, construct firmness shield. Characters receive reduced damage after a character launches. I mean, we're not really doing follow up attacks, are we? So I'm not going to bother with that one. All right, how close are we to? Ooh, oh, we're getting pretty close. We're getting pretty close. What's going on here? What is that? It's an occurrence. Uh, you see a man about 30 years old with an unremarkable appearance, wearing a white shirt and brown suspenders. His eyes wander while he speaks, as if avoiding something. Uh, I wanted to add some random occurrences to the game to make it more fun, but I think the brainwave reader is on the fritz, so uh, now the events you encounter will be a little more monotonous. Sorry about that. Is that, is that Stephen? Oh, that... Stephen Lloyd's idea, yeah. Uh, how bland will they be? Like... Like, uh, this is a random occurrence now. I wrote some templates, but this simulation currently doesn't have any way of converting them I, I them into content, so you just see the following. After speaking, the man disappears. Okay. Line of words materializes. You've encountered a random occurrence. Obtain some cosmic fragments. Oh, okay. You don't need this. Uh, I'll take some cosmic fragments. Sure. 150. And we got an achievement. That's how monotonous. The man says as if genuinely sorry. Uh, a borderline acceptable solution. <laughs> Hopefully very soon. I really want to have a good, uh, you have a good time. Okay, no worries, Steven. That's fine. All right, right, just random shit. That's good, I like that. And this was Hans. Oh look, there's Herta. So I think we've we got one we got a boss coming up. Uh, you've done uh, congratulations. You've done well getting here. You can use up all your cosmic fragments. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Same thing, isn't it? Right. Let's upgrade. Mm, let's upgrade that one. And that one. More chance to. More chance to free... Oh, enemies resistance... Chance to resist Frozen decrease it by 20%. Right, okay. This will strengthen our position. Did I already have an attack boost? I don't know. Ooh, big scary with boss. Bring it, bitch. I should really be using, uh, like, welts. Slow down thing. I should be using more of my techniques. We're in trouble now. Uh, ooh, and you're not really weak to much of what I've got. I mean, I'm good against you, and okay. I think this because this is a boss. I'm probably gonna think about this a little bit more. There's two of them. All right, well, let's go for. You know nothing of the weight behind ultimates. Witness the stars. Hopefully, this will slow them down. I mean, we're already gonna attack first anyway. There is no other choice. Imprisonment. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, like the music. Let's let's upgrade. I mean, the computer seems to do that on Dan a lot, so we'll do that on Dan. Nice. Let's go. Yeah, and we've got a little bit of shield there as well. Bosh. Ultimate. Go for it. Rules are made to be broken. Nice. Leave the rest to me. Yeah, this is taking a while. Um Let's just auto for a bit. Let's just auto for a bit. So I think we'll probably be we'll be more than okay. Fight is 
It is quite satisfying just seeing your characters go to town on it. There is no other choice. Imprisonment, excellent. Yeah, we're, we're in no danger here whatsoever. We got this in the bag. Ooh, saying that though. Nah, we're fine. We got we still got shield on everyone. Ooh, ooh, okay. Getting a little bit tasty. That one's nearly dead. Oh, damn. That was a lot of damage. See, we probably could have killed the frozen one, though, if we'd done... Survive or be destroyed. There is no other choice. Okay, we won. We won. Wow. World complete. Past victories don't guarantee future ones. Got some credit toes. And now we leave. A room of one's own. That was fun. I'm definitely going to enjoy doing more of those, I think. Um, but again, maybe maybe not so much in these videos. Maybe from time to time. But uh, I think I might might stream some of those. Points obtained, 800. Look at all those blessings we got. And yes, that's what I'm talking about. How's your experience with the official version? If you find it easy, you can go challenge the next world. Apparently it's more difficult with stronger enemies. Okay. <laughs> You'll clear it sooner or later. Cool. Are you folks really here to research eons? What are you talking about? Our goals haven't changed. Now run off and get ready. Right. You can exchange hurt of bonds for items here. Let's have a look. Hurt of store. So world two. Says it's still locked. Oh right, we need to uh, we need to progress the story more. Okay, that's fine then. Uh, so I could get a regular star pass, superimposer. Max a superimposer. Where the heck's that? I don't want to click on it in case I accidentally buy it. A special gadget made by Herta. It can superimpose special light cones obtained from the simulated universe. Oh. Oh. And yeah, just a bunch of light cones there as well. Five star ones by the looks of things. Interesting. Right. Well, we've properly dived into the simulated universe. All being just see if we glance from Yeah, so this is where we just list all the stuff. Ah, claim. Yes. Oh my god. 80 jade. Boom. Claim. 80 jade. Boom. Oh my gosh. So that's like another... I think we just bought another special pass there. Basically. Right. So yeah, more blessings we get. More different blessings we get, the better. Uh, and because we got that occurrence, we got another 20 jade. Bloody hell, there's 88 occurrences. That's mental. We've got so much Trailblaze XP. Ah, oh, we're pushing up against that ceiling. Right. Well, my friends, I think that's going to end it there. Nice long episode. We got uh, some story done, some simulated universe. I'm pretty happy with that. Uh, loving this game, man. The more I unlock, the better it gets. Um, quickly claim my achievements. Get some more jade. We'll probably buy some uh, some passes next time. Again, though, I think I'm probably going to save most of them for now, at least. Uh, and maybe next time we'll try some new characters as well, because Welt is good. Really do like him. Uh, maybe I've not been using him super effectively, but... Um, ooh, Nameless Honor as well. I did get to level 8 of this off-screen. Uh, claims. That's going to give me another 800. Level 9. Okay, sweet. Which gets me more fuel. For the light cones. And I probably do need to ascend some light cones next time. Or I might do that off-screen as well. Uh... Claim that one. Complete one simulated universe. Excelente. And yeah, ascend any light cone one time. We'll probably do that. I'll probably get that done off screen. Thank you for watching, everyone. Really appreciate it. Thanks for all the support on these videos. I'm glad most of you seem to be enjoying them. Uh, 
I really, really can't thank you enough. Take care. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye for now.